Hey, what's up, fellas? How you doing? Man, it's here. Hey, what's going on, everyone? How we doing? Matt Antonelli here. Today, we're answering your questions. You send questions into Instagram and to YouTube, and so we're going one by one through them. Today's question is, how do I keep my eye on the ball? And so we're going to get into that. We're down in my basement today. We're not at the facility. It's a little bit tougher to film right now with COVID and all that stuff going on. We have to wear masks, and so it's a little bit easier for me to film down here in case you're wondering, where is this guy? I've never seen him film there before. That's where we are. If you've enjoyed this video and want to learn more about building the elite swing, check out our new course. We have over two hours of content, almost 30 hitting drills. We break down the exact mechanics that you're going to want to implement into your swing. I've put the link in the description if you want to go check it out. Okay, so let's get into keeping your eye on the ball. This is maybe, put in the comment section below, what's the most famous hitting or baseball softball term out there when it comes to hitting. I think if you go to pretty much any level, especially a low level, you're going to hear somebody that there's no way you make it through an entire game without hearing somebody yell, keep your eye on the ball, right? That's like the most simple yet most used term I think I've ever heard at a game or practice. And so keep your eye on the ball. You can't hit what you can't see. I've heard it a million times, okay? Now, there is some truth to this, and there's also some not so much truth to it because we actually don't see the ball hit the bat. The ball is moving so fast that we lose sight of it those last few feet, so you don't actually ever see the ball hit the bat. Um, but there is something to be said for it. So obviously, we have to be able to see the ball and track the ball out of the hand um, but more importantly for me is that the head, right, so the eyes, but the head will control some other parts of the swing. And if I can't have the proper path, this is what it comes down to again for me. If I can't have the proper path, and we've made lots and lots of videos on the proper path, but very quickly, just think about I need to get my barrel turned behind the ball okay so i need my barrel working slightly up through the hitting zone that's the key from the inside so i can't be out and long and around the ball i need to be from the inside and i need my barrel behind the ball if you have questions on why go check out our other videos we have tons of videos on bat path okay so if i need to get my barrel to do that, to be from the inside and behind the ball, I need to make sure my body works properly for me to do that. And that's where the eyes, and probably more importantly, the head come into play. If you watch really, really good hitters, again, as they're coming through and their barrel's behind the ball, you're going to see that they're going to be in good posture, they're going to be slightly over their plate, their rear shoulder's going to work under their lead shoulder, and their eyes are gonna be behind the barrel, okay? So there's the picture. Now, I can do things in my swing where my head will start to leave, my eyes will start to leave, and that causes my swing to not be from the inside and behind the ball. So that's the important thing, right? And so what happens is people are watching you swing, and they see, because hitters will pull their head out here, right? Their head, their body will start to come out this way. So people will say, well, he, you know, they can't hit the ball, right? Because he or she is not watching the ball. Their head's doing this. Well, again, what happens is when you start to make this move, your barrel is going to follow your body. You're not going to have a very good barrel or a very good bat path, and you're not going to hit the ball. So is it because you didn't see it? Maybe there's a little bit there. Although, again, we talked about how you never really see the ball hit the bat. But it's because I do this, my barrel follows my body, and now I foul it off, or I, don't, I just swing and miss, okay? So if we can train the head, more importantly probably than that, the upper body, to be in a better position and stay in a better position, then we can get the barrel to work better and we can hit the ball better, okay? So it all ties in. So let's talk real quick about kind of the things that I see causing the 
head to want to make this move right here. The first thing, it starts for me with posture. And so all posture is, is getting into a position where I get my butt back behind my heels. That's the key that we talk about. So from this angle, my butt's got to get back behind my heels this way. My hips hinge back this way, okay? When that happens, my chest gets over the plate like this, okay? So you can see when I do this, my butt's out, my chest's over, my eyes and head are right here, right? If I do the opposite, if I get into a hitting position and I'm up like this, right? So I'm up like this and I'm not in this position, all of a sudden my head goes from here to here, okay? So the ball's here and my head's here. So right off the bat, you can see that's not a great position, right? Now, being in proper posture for me will help my, which is the next step, my upper body work properly, okay? So it starts with this. Now let's go to the upper body working properly. So if I'm, let's go uh, into a poor position first, then we'll do a solid position. So this doesn't just happen because of poor posture. You can get into really good posture and then take a, a poor swing with your upper body and do this. But it's more likely to happen when we're not in good posture. And what happens is my upper body can work a couple different ways. My upper body can go forward. My upper body can turn hard to the left if I'm a righty or turn hard to the right if I'm a lefty. This is what I see happen a lot. Or my upper body can work back this way, behind my back leg, which is what we want. So let's talk about kind of the improper things. And let's talk about the thing I see the most. That's when my upper body just wants to work hard out to the left. We'll talk about right handed hitters for right now. So my upper body just wants to pull this way really fast. I get really rotational with my upper body. My lower body starts to turn. My upper body starts to turn as well. And now my left shoulder, instead of working back, it's pulling hard this way. And when my left shoulder starts to pull hard this way, my head starts to come out off the ball like this. And when my head starts to come off the ball like this and my left shoulder is pulling out, my barrel wants to get out and away from me like that. And then it wants to cut across here. And so when my barrel's cutting across here, it's not staying through the hitting zone. It's not staying on the ball and I can't square the ball up. I'm gonna foul the ball off, I'm gonna swing and miss. And if I do hit it, I'm probably just gonna roll it over. I'm gonna pull it foul. And then everybody in the stands is gonna scream at me that I'm pulling off the ball and I gotta keep my eye on the ball. Keep your head on the ball, keep it on. You know, you're gonna get that, right? And they're not wrong, they're not wrong. But it's, it goes deeper than that, okay? And so I can't, I can't do this because my head and my eyes and more importantly, my barrel are gonna pull off the ball and I can't hit what I can't see. That's what they tell you, <laughs> all right? so. How do I not do that? Again, we've talked about this in a lot of other videos, but I get in good posture. And now when it's time to go, my upper body again, isn't gonna go like this out to the left. It's gonna actually start to work back this way, All right? So I swing, my upper body works back as my lower body starts to turn. And now I continue, my leg continues to turn. I keep going, boom. And then I come into contact right here. I'm gonna choke up a little so I don't hit this ball. I'm in a little bit tight quarters down here. I start to work back this way. I start to turn my barrel back. I get palm up, palm down, bang, and I hit the ball. And now I'm in good posture. I'm over the plate. My right shoulder's worked under my left and my eyes are behind the barrel. And now my barrel can work all the way through the zone. And now I can make contact much more consistently and everybody's gonna be happy because my eyes watching that ball hit the bat again not really but like I said this is going to control a lot of other things now just because I'm in this position doesn't technically mean I'm going to have the, a great swing with a perfect pass but you're going to have a much better chance of taking a good swing with a path from the inside and behind the ball if you've done this okay so hopefully that makes sense Go check out our other videos if you have not seen them, all right? because I'll, I'll spend more time. It's a little bit of a quicker video, um, but it's really, really important. Again, good posture and having your upper body work the proper way in the swing, that 
will help you get a proper path, which will help you get the ball and make everyone stop screaming at you to watch the ball. Thanks so much for watching. Subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, give it a thumbs up, all that good stuff, and we'll talk to you later.